Hey, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And what we have this time is the Yoshimi Kato Anju VG10 Guto 210mm knife. And you can see this is a very dramatic looking blade. Obviously it has a layered or Damascus cladding finish on it for sure. Uh, the hardcore cutting edge center steel is VG10 full stainless steel. Heat treat is advertised at about 61 to 62 Rockwell. And what they do is put a multi layer cladding of uh, stainless materials on the uh, top of that and you can see that the cladding has and the way they get that kind of dramatic finish to it is they acid etch it so the different materials bring out different characteristics some it may kind of take on a gunmetal gray flat finish and some are shiny depending on the material uh, it makes it real easy to see where the grind kind of starts coming down towards the edge right there so good dramatic look at the geometry or the grind of the blade super easy to see that uh, they've done a really nice job with the fit and finish and the polish work and the attention details on these so very nice knives the weight and dimensions can vary a little bit from knife to knife this particular one is 122 grams or 4.3 ounces and the edge length is 215 millimeters or eight and a half inches from the tip to the back of the heel you've got overall length of about 353 millimeters or almost 14 inches with the handle the spine thickness, these are thin knives, so I got about, clean that off there, I got about uh, 1.65, 1.7-ish, pretty much all the way down, so it's a thin blade. Despite that, it's fairly stiff for how thin it is, and then you can see where the grind starts. So not a lot of taper on it, but when you get towards the tip, it thins out very nicely. So nice performing geometry there, grind there. And then here's the edge, so the edge is thin as well, so this will be a nice performing blade. They've done a really nice job on the choil here of rounding and polishing that, and they've also polished the spine, so very good attention to detail, really nice fit and finish on these. They're uh, straight blades, they're nice uh, clean grinds on them, uh, again fairly thin at the tip and the edge. The height on this particular one is 46.5 millimeters at the back. And then the handle is a ambidextrous oak handle with a uh, just kind of a basic finish to it. It's kind of a matte. It's got a little bit of polish to the finish, but just kind of a simple handle that works well against the complexity of the blade finish itself. They've done a nice seal job of putting the tang into the handle so it looks very well sealed. So that's a nice feature right there. Circumference of this handle is about 73 millimeters or 2.9 inches where you might expect a ferrule to be uh, right about there. Balance point on this is going to be right there. And so for me, that's pretty close to a pinch grip. So that's going to make that a uh, pretty neutral feel on a, on a pinch grip type uh, method of holding the knife. And so you'll get a nice flickable light. You know, it's only 4.3 ounces for a 210 so it's a very light flickable blade, but yet it's fairly stiff given the construction. You'd be surprised how stiff this is. Um, let's get our beauty shot here. You can see a lot going on with this blade. It does have, I believe the website might say engraved kanji, but this is laser engraved kanji. It's not hand engraved kanji. So it's got laser engraved kanji. It looks very nice. It disappears a little bit with the complexity of the finish, but it's definitely there. And then the left side of the blade, as you'd be holding it, that was the right side of the blade. Here's the left side of the blade. Again, a lot going on here. But really nicely done. Great fit and finish work on these. Let's look at the cutting board profile. So here's what it looks like on the cutting board. So we've got a... Not a, any kind of real big flat spot, but we've got a bit of a flattish area towards the back. You've got a little bit of roll into the heel right there, but nice flat spot going in there. And then the belly is kind of medium. It's not super aggressive, so let's see what we get on the tip. We'll probably, eh, we'll get about right in there for the tip once to dig in. So we could definitely get over medium to low uh, product on this with rock cut techniques. And of course, push-pull cutting a little bit of chopping towards the back, glide cuts, a little bit of tip draw. So it's a pretty versatile profile. A little bit of flat area towards the back if you want to do some chopping. 
So very nice aesthetic package, uh, a lot of cool features on these, nice steel, thin, high performance blade. This is the Yoshimikato Anju VG10 Gyuto 210mm knife.